Have a wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want us to take a little lesson from uh, the book of um, John chapter 11. And this has to do with uh, the story of Lazarus, the true story, the real life story of Lazarus. If you go from verse 1, you will notice that um, the siblings of uh, Lazarus sent for Jesus, telling him that the one whom Jesus loved was sick. He should come. And uh, ultimately, Jesus tarried there two more days before he started his journey back, within which time Lazarus died. Notice, they wanted Jesus to come. Uh, Jesus ultimately went there. And uh, Martha first met him and told him, Lord, if, if only you were here, my brother wouldn't have died. So she believed that if Jesus was present, Lazarus would not have died. And Jesus told her, your brother shall rise again. And then she queried that and said, okay, yes, I know he will rise again in the resurrection. And Jesus told her that I am the resurrection. He that believeth in me shall not die. Praise God. And she left. And when he saw the other sibling, uh, Mary, something similar played out. And he told her that, if thou canst believe, thou wouldest see the glory of God. Okay, I've been paddling to come to this particular place. Do you know that their faith was in Jesus coming? That if Jesus came on time, Lazarus would not die. So they had faith that if Jesus was present, Lazarus would not die. It keys in to what I thought about revelation knowledge a couple of days back. If only they knew that Jesus didn't need to be present for Lazarus to leave. Lazarus would not even have tasted of death, death. You see, the centurion that was talked about in scripture had a greater revelation. He said that I am a man subject to authority, under subjection to authority, that I say to my servants, or those beneath rank in me, do this and they do it. The same way as I receive instructions from above, I carry them out and I give instructions, verbal instructions, and they are carried out. It's rank and fire. It's a military hierarchy. That is how authority works. So don't come to my house. Just say the word only and my servant shall be healed. That's what that's the centurion. If Martha and Mary had that revelation, they needn't have asked Jesus to come. They needn't. That's those two days, the, the time it took for their message to get to Jesus before Lazarus died. They could have just sent that same message to Jesus saying, Master, give the word only and your friend Lazarus shall leave and jesus wouldn't have needed to go down to bethany he could have given the command of faith that just as they believed so would it be say lazarus you will live and not die or be it unto you as thou hast believed and lazarus would not have tasted of death what do you think your revelation is very important what you believe is very important. You cannot get more than you believe in the kingdom of God. You want to get more? Dig into scripture. Find out what God has done for you so that you can believe that. Don't stop at the surface. What, what he did for somebody uh, that is kind of trivial, quote and unquote. But dig. Find out the, the length and breadth and depth and height of all that he has done for you so that you can believe him big. So you are not restricted and paddled into a corner. You see, Martha and Mary were kind of restricted because they believed that as since Jesus didn't appear before Lazarus died, it was all over. They were fretting. They needn't have fretted. They needn't have gone through that undue punishment of their soul, their mind, their will, intellect, and emotions of having seen their brother die. 
Instead, they could have had the joy of seeing Lazarus recover from his illness without dying. Yes, to our benefit, as Lazarus died, Jesus came and gave the command of faith and he rose from the dead. That's to our benefit, not really to Martha and, Lazarus, uh, and Mary's benefit. It's to our benefit that we know that there is no end point. There is no, there's, there's nothing that is outside of the scope of the authority of Jesus. There is nothing outside of the realms that the word of God cannot uh, sort out, that nothing is ever too late. But they needn't have gone through all that. If only they knew, they could have asked that Jesus give the command of faith. Just send the word only. Because they didn't know that the word and him were one. That all he needed to do was send his word. Now that we know, what do we do? Do we ask that somebody be physically present? Or we ask for the word. Do we send the word to do the work? Because the spirit and the word agree. They are one. If you send the word, it is carried by the spirit in the spirit realm. And it, it is active and alive. It does. So be there. Be there with his word standing in faith be like the centurion get revelation knowledge and act on the revelation knowledge in the name of my savior jesus christ god bless you hallelujah